Hello, my name is Slayer, and I'm here to discuss 10 major problems with Mono Over 2. This game needs to be fixed immediately. So right off the bat, the killstreaks in this game are simply overpowered. I'm not going to argue with you about it. You say, uh, you know, just pull out a stinger missile. I shouldn't have to. This is a first-person shooter. This is not first-person air support. I shouldn't be able to dominate the way I do with simply 11 kills. The nukes are way too easy to get. You need to reduce the power of the killstreaks and revamp the killstreaks past 9 so they don't add on to later killstreaks such as AC-130, Chopper Gunner, and Nuke. I don't know if you guys remember a game called Call of Duty 3, but that game flopped because they designed it to be a vehicle-based game. So I just wanted to remind you, this is a first-person shooter. Second up is tactical insertion boosting in uh, free-for-all, pretty much all the game modes. This has gotten out of hand. It was a nice idea, didn't really work out very well. It needs to be taken out. I don't see any uh, reasonable way that they could fix that. It just needs to be taken out, replaced with something else, perhaps. Third is the infinity care package glitch, which I realize that they fixed some glitches, but this one is very much still up and running. Uh, I feel like Infinity Ward got a little cocky and overconfident in their uh, game making abilities. They should have had a beta, period. The fourth one is the one I believe should be taken most seriously. This game needs to have a classic playlist, just like Halo has an MLG playlist and just like World at War had a playlist for core and hardcore. You set up three, five, seven kill streaks, UAV, precision airstrike for five, and then attack helicopter. You take out stingers and javelin missiles and you're ready to go. Call of Duty 4 had an astounding record-breaking system. So, once again, I bring up Call of Duty 3. You shouldn't change your game so much that your fans don't like it. Because people will stop playing your game. You shouldn't consider a game a success just because it's the successor to Call of Duty 4 and it made a shit ton of money. Number 5 is the horrific spawn system in the Call of Duty franchise. This isn't just Modern Warfare 2 that's been going on for as long as I can remember. I'm sure it's not that hard to fix the spawning. Spawn us away from people, not inside them. Number six is the fact that while all the guns in the game are balanced, they are all overpowered. All the guns need to be weakened because they all have a ridiculously fast time to kill speed. All except, of course, the sniper rifles, which brings me to number seven. The two sniper rifles, the Barrett 50 Cal and the Intervention, both need a damage increase so that they kill anyone that's not behind cover in one shot all the time. And it wouldn't hurt if they added another sniper rifle that was actually bolt action like the M40 or the R700 from COD4. Number 8 is Last Stand. You guys put in Last Stand and Final Stand. Final Stand gives you 50 points of health as opposed to Last Stand's 1 point of health. I realize you guys took out Juggernaut and Martyrdom for which I am forever grateful. But uh, you either gotta get rid of both or just make it a death streak. Because it is just as big of a nuisance as it always was. And it makes 90% of the players extremely angry. Uh, number 9 is the Model 1887 shotguns. This was a huge problem in the first uh, few weeks of after launch. They did patch it from its ridiculous state, but once people figure out that you can just add a FMJ and a Kimbo, It'll be just the same, so just like the tactile insertion, I suggest you take it out, replace it with something else, possibly the W1200 from COD4. The gun is just too powerful and has too long of a range to have the akimbo feature available. Much like all the other guns with the low recoil and lack of idle sway, this gun is the only one that I believe is truly overpowered compared to the rest of the guns. And last but not least, uh, the commando perk from the first uh, moment I heard about it, I didn't really understand because uh, I had thought the knife range was already too long. I liked the knife range in World of War, which most people thought was, you know, just useless. But Commando adds just too long of a melee range increase. Especially when you slap that on with Marathon, Lightweight, and the Ridiculous Care Package uh, speed boost. You get a, a game full of people doing that, and it's pretty much game-breaking. So yeah, that was 10. I'm sure uh, a lot of other people could come up with more things they don't like about the game. But all in all, these are 10 vital things that could be easily fixed and make your game so much better. So if you agree with any of the things I said, rate this video, comment this video. I'm going to put a download link in the description. Download it, put it on your page, tell your friends to put it on their page, and hopefully uh, someone from Infinity Ward will see it. And, you know, hopefully they can try to get it done.
go to a 402's Twitter page and tell him, here's how to fix your game, and then give him a link to this vi YouTube video. So yeah, guys, this is Slayer. Uh, change will only happen if we make it happen. All right, see you.